Hello friends, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of quick quartic equations, we are going to solve an interesting equation 2 minus x whole power 4 plus 2x minus 1 whole power 4 equal to x plus 1 whole power 4. While solving, I will use algebraic identities, manipulations, quadratic equation, quadratic formula, then real and imaginary solution. We will conclude. Let's get started by writing or by drawing one number line. Now you must be thinking why number line. See whatever is written inside the bracket, it is giving me on number line x equal to 2 by putting bracket equal to 0. Similarly, this point will give us half. 2x minus 1 equal to 0, 2x is equal to 1, x is equal to half. Similarly, from third bracket, I will get x is equal to negative 1. Now plot these points on number line. See, this is half. This point would be 2 and LHS it is negative 1. Now conclusion. If you will consider this point as T on number line, see the gap between these two points is 3 half. The gap between these two points, again it is 3 half. So what my point is, the gapping between the two points are constant. So I can write if it is T, if this point half point is T, then this one would be t minus 3 by 2 and this one would be 3 plus 3 t by 2, 3 by 2. Okay. So what is conclusion from this argument? That is, consider the second bracket equal to let 2x minus 1 equal to t. Important point. From here, x will come out t plus 1 over 2. Now let's put everywhere. So I can consider 2 minus x, we can write x minus 2 because power is even. For getting only positive numbers, I am writing like that. If you want to consider as it is, no problem. So x minus 2, let me put t plus 1 over 2 minus 2 whole power 4 plus it is what we consider t equal to t plus 1 over 2 plus 1 whole power 4. Once I will take LCM or common denominator method, we will be getting t plus 1 minus 4. So t minus 3 whole power 4 over 2 power 4 is 16. Let me write in this manner. Something very interesting is about to come. t plus 1 plus 2. t plus 3 whole power 4 over 16. Earlier the equation, it was not looking symmetrical. Now equation is looking almost symmetrical. I will multiply this equation by 16 to get rid of denominator. So I will be having t minus 3 whole power 4 plus 16 t power 4 equal to t plus 3 whole power 4. Now you can easily see t plus 3, t minus 3, symmetrical. t is your origin, plus 3, 3 units toward right, minus 3, 3 units towards left. So it is symmetrical. Now easiest to solve. I will write 16 t power 4 equal to t plus 3 whole power 4 minus t minus 3 whole power 4. Okay, so let me write this equation first. 16 t power 4 t plus 3 whole power 4 minus t minus 3 whole power 4. Now I will give again substitution. I will consider t plus 3 equal to a and t minus 3 equal to b. Let's write here t plus 3 and b equal to t minus 3. Alright, 
Now, what is our RHS? It is a power 4 minus b power 4. I can see this as a power 2 whole square minus b power 2 whole square. Now, difference of square we know a plus b. So, a square plus b square, a minus b. So, a square minus b square. Again, here you can apply difference of square. So, ultimately what we are having a square plus b square times a plus b times a minus b. So, a plus b, a and b we know. Okay, let's add. So, I will add a plus b. So, it will be 2t plus 3 minus 3 will be over a minus b subtract so i will get 6 now let me write a square and b square so a square would be t square a plus b whole square see here i am doing a squaring so t square plus 9 plus 60 b square t square sorry t square plus 9 minus 60 add both because it is required a square plus b square so a square plus b square will be equal to 2 times t square plus 9 done only need to put the correct value at correct place so let's put 16 t power 4 equal to a square plus b square. I will write 2 times t square plus 9. a plus b. a plus b is 2t. So, I will write 2 times t. a minus b. 6. Now, you can cancel whatever you can. So, let me cancel 2 to 4. Here it will be 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Now 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 2 is 4. So what is left? 2t power 4 equal to 3t is, let me write 3t cube directly. So 3t cube plus 27t. Take all the terms to left. So it will become 2t power 4 minus 3t cube minus 27 t equal to 0. Let's take t out, t common, 2 t cube minus 3 t square minus 27 equal to 0. Remember what was our substitution? It is t. 2 x minus 1 is t because it's time to put the value but before solving means we have to solve first this cubic equation. Okay. So, t equal to 0. See, remember this one. I will put t equal to 0. And then, I can consider this cubic polynomial equal to 0. Minus 27 equal to 0. Alright. Let me take this equation as it is. Let me write that equation. 2t cube minus 3t square minus 27 equal to 0. Using rational root theorem, you can find out all the factors plus minus 1 plus minus 2 like that for coefficient term and the leading coefficient term. So, just by observation, I can conclude I will put t equal to 3. So, 2 times 3 cube minus 3 times 3 square minus 27. So, 3 cube is 27 times 2, 54. 3 square is 9 times 3, 27, 27. So, it is 0. That means t equal to 3 is equal to our, this t equal to 3 is our solution or root, root of this cubic equation. Now, I will apply directly synthetic division method. 2 minus 3, 0 minus 27. I am just trying to find out what would be quadratic. So, leading coefficient as it is 3 times 2, 6, 3, 9, 9, 27, 0. So, quadratic equation is 2t square plus 3t plus 9 equal to 0. Let's find out the value of t 
टी सो माइनस बी प्लस माइनस अंडर द रूट बी स्क्वायर नाइन फोर ए सी थर्टी सिक्स ओवर टू ए फोर ओके फोर ए सी इट इज सेवेंटी टू so if you will check see this will give us complex solution so t is 2x minus 1 so i can conclude here this solution is complex as we are getting square root negative inside it is negative number or you want to find then you can continue 72 minus 9 is 63 so i will write i times 3 root 7 over 4 okay and in place of t i can write 2x minus 1 so from here i will get two complex solution these are complex solution so we can either reject or you can find out like this so it is only minus 1 needs to be in the right hand side then divide by 2 you will get your answer now come to our re real solutions so t equal to 0 and t equal to 3 i will write i will find from here So t equal to zero. That means I will write two x minus one equal to zero. Two x is equal to one. X is equal to half. This is our first real solution. T equal to three. Then two x minus one equal to three. Two x is equal to four. X is equal to two. Second real solution. Okay. and from here we are getting two complex solution so these solutions are rejected as we are finding real solution only let's verify both the values x half x2 verification first value is x is equal to half let me put here here in this equation so i will write 2 minus half whole power 4 plus 2x is equal to 1 1 minus sorry 1 minus 1 is 0 equal to it it should be half plus 1 whole power 4 so this is 3 over 2 whole power 4 second term is 0 3 over 2 whole power 4 verified verified second solution is this is first solution second solution is x is equal to 2 okay let's put so 2 minus 2 0 it will become and this is 2 times 2 4 minus 3 i am writing directly 3 power 4 and it is also 3 power so it is 3 power 4 equal to 3 power 4 verified that means this solution is also true real solution I hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video take care